Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is November 2nd, 2023. It's Thursday. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Greece has been having a lot of earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Yeah, I know Greece has lots of earthquakes, but seems to be more so lately. The largest being a magnitude 3.0. That was over here let me bring it in a little bit only one of the earthquakes did anyone say that um, they felt them and that was a magnitude 2.0 yeah they have a lot of twos there but what's really interesting i think this swarm of earthquakes that's going on has got to do with the movement of the north anatonian plate the fault system and you guys do realize that this fault system is responsible in Turkey and Afghanistan. Yeah, let me bring this out. I keep talking about how uh, the plates are moving lately as the Earth's magnetic field gets weaker. Yeah, you're going to see more and more of these earthquakes. What's going on is the African plate is subducting underneath the Eurasian plate. And then what we got going on here is the North Anatolia fault system, which may be offset by this other fault system, the Kefalia fault system. Because of the compression and the stretching that's going on, the subduction um, here in the Gulf of Corneth, um, yeah, that's stretching, that's extending out. The most recent largest earthquake within this area is um, from 2018. That was a magnitude 6.8. Then in 1999, there was a 7.6. This was also associated with this Anatolian fault system. You can see how it's actually a very wide fault system. Yeah, a lot of people died from that earthquake. Let's see. Intensity level 8. Yeah. This was a thrust earthquake. And because of all the tension built up and the pressure built up. Yeah, there's um, the possibility of thrust earthquakes because of the subduction of the African plate. Yeah, and the movement of this fault. I hope you guys don't have a large earthquake coming. There was another one. Let's see, up over here. Um, doesn't look like I got it marked out. Southern or uh, Northern Greece. That area has um, over a million in population. And it is also threatened for a large earthquake. But most of them have been down over here. Now the reports that today said they felt the earthquake a 2.0 was off in this location okay now it was shallow about three miles in depth um, i had to translate some of these here it says uh short with a shout the next one said that they were almost at the location of the epicenter and afterwards they felt three more small shakes Another one says here they just felt it. This one here says short with a weak vibration. But this other one said there were two quakes with a loud noise. This other one says bees buzzing like subduction. This one I don't have to translate. There were two. The first with a trembling low. The second very faintly. It was only heard as if they were digging stones. I thought that was interesting. Subtle creaking. The windows and the chandelier, I guess, were shaking too. And then the last one that EMSC has posted says loud cheers. I mean, there's been so many of them here within the last 24 hours. This is the only one for some reason that people sent in felt reports. Um, nothing for the 2.4, um, but that was deeper. See, this one was only um, three three miles. This one was 79 kilometers, which is about 49 miles, almost 50 miles in depth. Let's see, and we got a bunch over here. 
um, 2.1s, let's see, 5 kilometers, uh, 5 kilometers, those will all be about 3 miles. Okay. And then we'll just kind of jump around. Um, 2.5, 11 kilometers, see that was deeper. Yeah, 194 kilometers. Yeah, that's being caused by subduction. Okay. Over here we got 10 kilometers. Uh, 5 kilometers. Another one, 5 kilometers. Yeah. I don't know. It might have been like a remote. Let me close that. Yeah, no one bothered sending in reports. It wasn't that much of a remote location. It is farming and there's some small little villages and towns in this area. But yeah, uh, maybe people are just too busy to report them. But I wonder and I worry that there's going to be a larger earthquake coming because of this fault movement. And yeah, they're all within this area. So what are your thoughts? I hope everyone is earthquake prepared. People should be earthquake prepared. I mean, there's no excuse not to be prepared, especially in a location that does have a lot of large earthquakes. If you're not prepared, you're just plain lazy. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? Sending prayers. Um, did you feel any of these earthquakes and just never bothered to report it? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Oh,